Peace and power, family. Miss Cinegram here with you. I am looking at a couple of things here and noticing some things, and I'm wondering, are you seeing them too? Boosie was asked about Charleston White. And I, this is huge because Boosie always got something to say. Boosie always has something to say about everyone. He has a comment and an input about everything. He's been commenting and inputting his personal two cents on everything that has ever happened for the last couple of years. So it was shocking when Vlad asked him what was it that he thought about Charleston White. Wow. That's huge. What's your take on Charles White? That's huge. Uh, now he ain't the only one. About Charles and White, you know, Mom. He he ain't the only one that's been quiet. He ain't the only one scared to talk about Charleston. Hang on, there's another that's scared to talk about Charleston. He was asked. So, Vlad asks his yellow beezy. It's not really in your language of uh, how you get down, but ain't no room in fighting. Yeah, ain't no room in fighting. That's the truth. Um, uh, yellow beezy didn't want to touch it. He didn't want to touch that one. Yeah, yeah, a mullet or whatever you want to call it. I just seen Drake with something that kind of looked like Shaq. Shout out to Drizzy. <laughs> I'm not sure it was a technical Shaq. Hang on a second. Something like that. Let me go back. Because he asked him directly about it. Except where he's got his arms in the air with no shirt on, and he's like praying that all of the gang members in Chicago will die. Oh, man. And it's just like, bro, what the <laughs> fuck is this? That man crazy. That nigga just crazy, bro. Yeah, he crazy. That's all he got to say. What's the state of the shack? That's all he has to say about Charles White. Okay. So that I'm letting you know right here, right today, that you remember when I tried to tell y'all about a year and a half ago that some stuff was going to change and that uh, uh, our old energy was being shifted out and a new one was coming in? This is some of that that's going on right here, family. Mm-hmm. Charleston White is standing up. Now, his antics, everyone may not agree with. Hell, I don't always agree with all his antics. But he's doing what is necessary to get attention. Because, you see, our people like drama. Drama attracts people. So he uses the drama to attract you. But he is on the backside talking to these moms of these dead rappers. See? See? See how that works? So you really could talk shit about Charleston. But if you ain't out there in them streets doing the work, you really can't say nothing about Charleston because he's out there doing the work, family. Now, there's one more thing that I want you to look at. Hang on. I had to take a video down. Hang on a second. The baby. Now, you know, a couple of years ago, the baby stood up and said some things. He's been speaking. And he put his input on um, an issue related to gay people. And since he's made that statement, he's been blackballed. Now, this is what he's having to do to sell his music now. And that ain't good. I don't want to see him, you know, go to a dark place to try to be him. But that's what it's looking like he's doing, family. I mean, you know. So... Let's keep our eye on him. Okay. See, this is why this change is here and this shift is here too. Because people feel like they got to do, you know, certain things to be successful in the industry. Where they just need to stop counting on the industry altogether and just stand up on their own two feet. And let the people support you and lift you. Because your people love you. Okay. Now, hang on one more second. I got one something else I need you to see. All right. Finesse two times giving back to the community. 
That's something to be highlighted. $5,000 worth of drinking water. That's something to talk about. And even though somebody somewhere may have something to say about the amount of money that it was and how it was too little and this and that, it's the thought that counts. Shout out to Finesse for that. Hang on, got another story for you. Alright guys. This story right here that I have before you. There's this man that's in Alabama prison. Okay. And his name is Castillo Vaughn. Vaughn. He's been in jail since July the 29th. And this is the state of his body he's in now. I need for people to call down there on his behalf. Okay? This is not okay. Okay, family? As many calls as you can. Over the weekend, it doesn't matter. We need to keep calling until we get some resolve. I will try to update you on the story if I can find an update for the story. Meanwhile, let's do what we can to try to get him some help. This is horrible. His body is eating on his self family. We can't allow that. We got to do something, family. Another question is I want to know, and I'm trying to understand. Is what the fuck is this down in the middle of his stomach and what happened? But I'm gonna try to reach out to the brother and see if I can get some more info. Until the end, let's call family. I thank you for taking the time to watch these videos. If you don't mind, take the time to like it, comment, let me hear your thoughts. We need to address these issues. Peace and power to your family.